Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. This is the second reading I've done for May. We're just going to see what comes up this time. We're going to start right here, then we're going to get two of these for overall energy, then we're going to use this deck. So what do we have for Virgo for May? Thinker. It's a 44. Makes sense. 44, all is well. I can see that we got somebody here that is thinking. They're thinking hard. But fours are about foundation, so you're probably thinking about your foundations, about what's comfortable to you. When you see 44 or 444, it means pay attention to the signs. Okay? All is well. But we do, this is going to be a time of thinking. Thinking what you want, thinking what you don't want. Fours are also a number of universal protection. So there's some sort of universal protection here. I can see, obviously, that there's a lot on your mind. That card really says that there is. So, um, you know, I think that this is, must be a time of, of, well, you think about the hermit. What is a hermit? The hermit goes into thinking mode, right? That is hermit mode. It's where you rediscover. You go through a period of rediscovery. So that's probably what this is about. It's about discovering who you are, who you're not, um, who you want to be, who you don't want to be. Just all kinds of um, reevaluation going on by the looks of things in May. So what do we have for Virgo? Ten. Looks like it's the Ten of Pentacles. Happiness. Extreme. It's about your home, right? Are you thinking about your home? Are you thinking about your children? You know... This is a merry-go-round. Freedom. It's freedom what goes around. I think this could be the Wheel of Fortune. I don't read any books. I don't read any tarot books. Um, you can't make me. So this could be the Wheel of Fortune because it's a, it's going around and around and around. That's what the merry-go-round. The merry-go-round goes around and around and around. So I'm going to say that this is the Wheel of Fortune. Um, something good. Now, this is breaking free breaking free from restraint so some of you are going to be breaking free from something getting off the merry-go-round not going to keep doing that i'm out of here i don't want to i want to keep doing the same things over and over and over and over again so i feel like there's freedom here Breaking free. That is what we got here. Breaking free. I think this is what we have. I mean, it looks like freedom to me. So, it's positive change. It's not being confined. Not being confined to this thing. Whatever it was. And you know what it is because you've been thinking about it a lot. Either way, tens are a completion. It's the end of that confinement. It's the end of, you know, it looks like you're alone on that merry-go-round as well. Probably it's the end of being lonely. Because you decide to get off. <laughs> All right, what do we got? One more card, please. I would say that that is the Two of Pentacles now, so that must be the Ten of Pentacles.
Yeah, I, I think that must be the Ten of Pentacles. Because here's the High Priestess right here. So yeah, that's the Two of Pentacles and that's the Ten of Pentacles. But that's still a merry-go-round. And it's getting off the merry-go-round. It is. And tens are a completion. So this is the end of a situation. Change in your home front, period. There's a change. And I know that there is. There's something you've been thinking about. There's a change that is coming within your home, within your establishment. Whether it's your home or your work, it's in your establishment. It's no longer being confined to the situation. And this is, is balance, needing to be flexible, needing to adapt to some sort of change. You may be struggling financially. You may have too many balls in the air or, yeah, too many balls in the air, too much going on. You're definitely juggling, having a hard time. But doing okay. Doing okay. Trying to um, keep everything in alignment, right? You're trying to keep everything in alignment but wanting this freedom. You want this freedom. I know that you do. So you're thinking about your future. You're th in that, like in hermit, you know, in hermit mode. You're thinking. You're going through an awakening of some sort. And this is a change because this two of pentacles is about change. So you're dealing with some inner change within you. That's what's going on here. So I think that you're thinking about... Uh, breaking free from something that was so stable. It was so safe. It's coming out of your safety zone. So you're really thinking about coming out of this safe environment. You're really thinking about it. But in order to do that, you're going to have to adapt. You're going to have to be flexible. You may have to stop juggling so much. You may have to uh, stop playing all together and just get real. What do we have for Virgo? Ooh, new exciting opportunity. Very exciting. This is a fresh start. New spark, new desire, something sudden. Sudden desire, sudden vision. Exciting. A new. This is fertility, an opportunity for growth. And you, when I see dandelions, you know, when you blow on that, you make a wish. So it's going after your dreams. There is an exciting opportunity here. There could be a, a match. Maybe you have met your match or there's uh, an attraction to somebody that is undeniable. Eight of Cups. Leaving behind uh, the emotionally disappointing situation. Saying goodbye to it. That's what you're thinking about, right? So this is what you're thinking about. You, got, you have to leave something behind that isn't satisfying. Because you got your eye on something that is more satisfying. This is very satisfying. It's very attractive to you. Exciting. So, in order to do that, you've got to break free from this confinement that is not making you happy. So that's what you're thinking about this month. How am I going to walk away from this emotionally disappointing situation? You know, I want to. You're thinking about it. I can see that you are. I can see that you are. Two of Cups. Now, this is Two of Cups. This is a partnership, a union. Walking towards a union. You know, there's a match here. This is a match, and this is a match. This is a perfect match, okay? So headed towards a perfect match once you make your decision, okay? You, this is a choice. Just, I'm telling you what, you've got to make a choice. And that involves stepping outside of your comfort zone, your safety zone. So, you know, you, you've been confined there too long. So anyway, you've got an opportunity here to have a deep connection with somebody, but this card comes first, which is the Eight of Cups. That means you have to leave behind this emotionally disappointing situation that is not satisfying because you can see that there's another opportunity. You know there is. You know there is. Six of Pentacles. So this is about reciprocation, give and take. There is somebody here that has a lot to offer. And it looks like the scales are tipped, so somebody's not getting what they deserve. 
there it's like one person is doing more than the other um maybe that's what you need to walk away from but the six see the scales are tipped they're not even they're not even and somebody is giving away quite a bit they got a lot they're giving away quite a bit and and not getting as much in return so that's interesting it's time to take that next step. It's time to take that step to balance and harmony. It's time to take that step to uh, emotional satisfaction, put it that way, towards love. The Empress reversed. We have a woman that doesn't know her value. She doesn't know her worth. She... Uh, I mean, the Empress in reversed is a weak woman, okay, this is a weak woman who doesn't want to deal with pain, don't want to deal with pain, don't want to deal with it, there's lack of growth here, we may have an individual that has affairs, this is a woman that has affairs, she has affairs, she's very needy, She chases after men. She won't. She she may stay in a commitment because for the money. Ten of Pentacles is money. Married for the money, for the stability of it, but wanting to break free, but doesn't know her value. It's going to be painful to break free. It is definitely going to be painful. So we definitely have a woman is a feminine energy that doesn't want to deal with the pain of breaking free. But she has another opportunity that she is more attracted to. So she may be thinking about cheating. She could be emotionally treating with somebody. Emotional cheating is when you text with another person when you're in a relationship. She's She has affairs. Maybe it could be even emotional affairs. It's an affair. Because she's needy. She needs attention. But she won't leave because she lacks self-respect and she lacks self-love. There's some sort of infidelity here with a very needy woman that an infidelity doesn't have to be all the way intercourse. It's infidelity is when you are in a relationship and you are conversing whatever with another man, woman, whatever. That's infidelity as well. So needing to walk away from an emotionally dissatisfying situation that has nothing for you, but not having the strength to do so. The Empress in Reverse is somebody that is very uh, jealous as well. Selfish. uncaring so I think there's a third party here there is a th I think I feel like there's a third party here seven of cups multiple options there's confusion there's choose wisely be careful what you own what you own owns you so we have somebody here that is very confused about their love life they're very confused about who they want they have options and it's like they're giving their their they're giving to one and not the other. Or there's no reciprocation coming from the one that they're with. So they're looking elsewhere. It's all about passion. It's looking for passion. It's about passion. It's like wanting passion. I need some passion. So it's like I need some passion. But the only way you're going to find this passion is to break outside of your comfort zone. There's definitely a third party situation here. No, there is. There's cheating going on. I think there's cheating. Somebody is not telling the truth. <sighs> we get the three of cups reversed. That's, that's gossiping. Enemies disguised as friends. This party is over. It's over. There's a lack of emotional growth here. And it's time to part ways from whatever this situation is that is unfulfilling. But it's not going to be easy and it's going to be painful. Because there's an opportunity for, for love here with the Two of Cups. There is. But you have to do what's right. You have to choose better options. You have to make a painful choice. Painful choice. 
this is a painful choice. Do you want love? Do you want the best perfect match where there's a lot of passion? Or do you want to stay in something that is safe? Where there's money and stability. Is that, that where you're at? Six of Wands. Six of Wands is victory after facing a struggle. So we have an Empress here that will be victorious if she faces the struggle. She has to face the struggle of getting out of the third party situation. Of terminating. Of This is termination. This is termination. Of terminating and walking away. You know, I'm not going to be a part of this. Seriously. We have an empress here that needs to know her value. She needs to know her worth. She needs to love herself. She needs to love herself enough to walk away from a third party situation. She needs to find her strength to fight that battle. She will come up on top once she does that. So yes, there's an exciting opportunity here. But it happens after you deal with some sort of battle. Um, King of Coins... Dealing with another uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is very loyal, hardworking, very practical, has a lot to offer. This person is one of the options. This person is getting quite a bit, getting a, a really big offer. And he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. There, he, and you know, so I don't know who this, this person is, but this person is, is making a choice. There's a choice here. He has options. So he is making a choice. Two of wands reversed. Yeah. He's making the choice. That is a choice being made. Decision being made. Ten of cups reversed. has to do with a relationship. He's making a choice as to who he wants to be in a relationship with. He has two he has at least two options. He or she has two options. But it does involve uh, walking away from something, walking away from one of them. Somebody is going to be left behind. Somebody's going to be left behind. The choice is being made by this king of, king of coins. He is going to give. He or she is going to give to another option. To another choice. He's make, uh, making up his mind, right? And this is making up his mind as to who he wants to be in a relationship with. Now the ten of cups, the ten of cups reversed is, is leaving home. Leaving home, moving. Uh, somebody could be moving homes, moving in with somebody, changing home, a change in the home front. I think I saw that from the beginning. I think there's going to be a change in the home front this month. There is. There is. There's going to be a change in the home front. Somebody is going to decide that they want to, I don't know, move in with somebody. And they want to move out? It's like this is an offer that can't be refused. It's such a good offer. I think there's building a new foundation with somebody. This is a match, it's exciting, and it's an opportunity for uh, equal, you know, it could, you know, turn out to be equal. It could turn out to be perfect. So I do believe that we have, um, it feels like two people moving in together into a new home or into a home together that is perfect and it will allow their relationship to grow and it will also leave a third party behind now this third party could be a mother 
It could be a roommate. It could be a sister. It could be a brother. It could be an ex, whatever. The third party is being left behind. So that's what I got. Good luck.